we have a lot of new drugs now. Uh, in fact, I've been talking at meetings over the last four or five years each time about a different drug that's just been licensed. Uh, so in CLL there's been a huge uh, number of new drugs and we're just beginning to get more experience with using these agents and longer term follow up from using them. And that's why I think just in the last six months we've had information now about the longer term outcome for some of the earlier drugs like abrutinib and idolalacib. And it's clear from that that we need something else, you know, not Although there are more than half of the patients perhaps are staying on treatment for very prolonged periods of time, there, there will be others that need an alternative. Uh, and that's where something like venetoclax and hopefully in the future newer drugs will be, will be coming in. And uh, one data set which has been presented at this meeting is from the UK CLL Forum, which is a collaborative of UK clinicians. And I think over 60 centres have, um, have included data from uh, the access that was provided by Janssen for ibrutinib as a compa on a compassionate basis. And uh, more than 500 patients had access to ibrutinib through that um, scheme. And uh, we have data now collected, quite robust data on more than 300 of those. So it's a, it's a good real world uh, experience of ibrutinib. And, and I think one of the notable things about that was that um, patients who relapsed in the first year have all died. Um, but patients who've relapsed in year two, 90% uh, of them, I think they're all still alive, and 90% of them have gone on to receive venetoclax. So it was just a matter of having the, the, the time to wait for the next drug to be available. Um, so CLL patients are now if they can stay one drug ahead of their disease, then they're surviving for, for much longer periods of time. It's one of, certainly one of the highlights as far as CLL, and I think it um, is always uh, good when you can show that um, you know, UK haematologists can work collaboratively to produce data which is much more meaningful than any one centre could ever produce. Um, so I, I think that um, you know, it really is a, a, a big applaud, you know, applaud it for um, uh, collaborative working.